Hey guys, how you doing? I had a call today with somebody who was uh, joining the mentoring program. They had a couple questions about uh, code editors, curriculum, job opportunities. How long does it take? So, is it really important what co-editor you use, you work with? No. It's it's almost the least important thing. It's like a carpenter. I'm sure they have their preferences of saws and hammers and so on. But at the end of the day, it's not what hammer or saw you, or that you use that makes a difference. It's whether or not uh, you know how to use a hammer and a saw properly. You know how to be a carpenter. I think that's the key. The uh, next question was, how long does it take to learn? Well, to get the foundations down, so you're at a point where you're comfortable writing code and you can start building basic things. You're looking at about 200 hours, 250 hours, depending on your aptitude. I recommend a maximum of four hours a day, give or take, depending on how you feel, because the brain can only learn so much uh, per day, right? We have certain tolerances. Uh, yeah, next question was uh, job opportunity. Well, the job opportunities is not the same as it was five years ago. Five years ago, if you were doing React, there was a huge amount of jobs. There's still a lot of React jobs out there, but in terms of entry level, I think the opportunity is uh, AI related. It doesn't mean doing vibe coding and stuff. It means just using your, your coding skills to implement AI uh, related uh, work. So AI first, AI augmented coding. Um, also understanding how to use AI to make yourself a much better developer, a much faster developer. This is a key as well. This all plays into it. Um, I think it's like, in fact, one of the greatest opportunities for freelancers and small businesses now is with the AI. It's a democratizing access it's democratizing the economies of scale, really. Meaning you don't need 100 employees to get stuff done. You could have two people or three people working with a bunch of AI agents. So getting back to the AI, when I say you gotta know AI, it doesn't necessarily mean knowing how to build an AI uh, in terms of building a large language model. I don't think you should do that. I think most of the opportunity is gonna be implementing large language models creating agents, creating specialized agents, or specialized models, like a custom GPT. So like everything else that I teach, this is based on personal experience. So I developed a custom GPT, a fitness app. I call Brad Fit, my AI fitness app. And it does things that I could not do prior to AI uh, technology. So it took me about three and a half, four months of training this thing. And I did it partly because I wanted a fitness app for my own purposes. And also, I wanted to learn how it was like to actually create a, a custom GPT. And it is, uh, requires design skills, not in terms of visual design, but in terms of architectural design. Uh, you have to basically be very, very precise with the LLMs. Otherwise, they'll go out and on tangents and they'll start hallucinating, they'll start making assumptions. So when you're creating AI, uh, custom AIs, you have to really fine tune them, give it a framework, very precise instructions, very precise edge case, mitigation. These are all things you have to do when you're developing AI. So that's why you have the next level, like some of my uh, previous sponsors where they built on top of LLMs like GPT, like Grok, like Gemini, and they've developed uh, custom implementations that are highly specialized AIs. Very useful, very useful. You know, I used to think to myself initially, not knowing, I said, why would you license somebody's AI implementation when you could just use GPT? Well, the short answer is GPT might be able to get you 50% of the way there without all that training, maybe 70% of the way there with all that training. But it's that last 30%, that last 20%, 20% even that last 10% that makes all the difference. So I did months of training to get it from like 60% effective to 95% effective. Well, it's like 99 now. But yeah, it, that's why you, you do all these things. So there's a lot of opportunity there. I highly recommend you look into it. Um, I like uh, I like the AI space. I think there's been a lot of uh, puffery around it, meaning over exaggerations in terms of what it's going to do. 
but uh, it's going to be there. It's going to be something very much something to consider, something to use, something to leverage. Um, I wouldn't say unless I thought that was the case. I wouldn't tell you this. I would, I would, you know, I'm, I'm here to tell you the truth. Like I will drop tech when I need to. Anyway, anyway, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it.